Hi guys, it's Said here. In this video, we're gonna talk about apertures, windows and doors. We go to Apertures tab, we click on it and then we have this. We go to Select and these are the apertures, the standard apertures. We have three wing window with transom, arc window, a door, a standard door, and the properties of this standard door, door is 2 meters in the height and 0 0.9 width and 0 0.44 depth. Of course we can change these properties. We have a roof window, we have a round window, square window with million, square window with transom, and a normal window, standard one. We we'll just click on it and then we have it on here. For us to, to put uh, an aperture in its place, we can just be in 3D view drag it and drop it like this we can change its dimensions on here or maybe by using the scale tool like this just the way you want just like this when you want to delete it you just click on it and delete it let's take the roof window for example the roof window cannot be applied on walls let's drag it and drop it it's not working it only, it only works on roofs let's throw it on here yes it works let's go to scale and scale it the way we want okay let's delete it now now it's the same with uh, just drag it and drop it this way and let's delete this one and let's go to the let's start equipping our house with doors and windows well let's go to the second floor and then we have windows on here we don't have specific dimensions well I'm gonna choose the apertures I want for example for this window I will choose this one I'll just drag and drop it you just drag and drop or maybe you draw a new aperture for example from this point to this one and you select it and you change the, the dimensions on here from for example the height we want is let's make it let's go to seal height 0 0.4 then the height is kind of 3.2 well it's not that bad and yeah let's change the frame width let's make it 0.00, .00. 05 all right let's move it to the middle on here. just like this and then as you can see the window in here and the window in here have the same dimensions so we can go and position active aperture this is the active aperture we can position it again on here just like this and move it here to the right place okay let's position the same aperture but we're gonna scale it after like this we scale it this way We scale it this way. Yeah, 
and let's position the active aperture again on here and on here and let's move them to their places all right that's perfect let's go to 3d view for us to see oh they are not in the right place let's select them all and let's move them down but the seal height is 0.4 all right it's so good now looks so good now that we placed these windows let's go and place the doors all right let's go and take the door let's draw a new aperture you will see the difference if we start on here or if we start on here okay this door opens this way okay let's go to the 3d view this door opens in the right way we want it to to open okay so we have done so good so it opens in this way in this in this side so we're gonna draw it in this side perfect come on see but let's delete this one let's draw in the other side for you to understand what I'm talking about this door opens this way in this but on here this door is not gonna open this way it opens in the other way so we gotta turn it like this we're gonna go and place all the doors for the fresh doors I mean like the double doors we can use this one like the standard door but I suggest that you use the square window with mullion just like this I set the cell height to 0 the height to 2 and then after I set the frame to 0 which means 0 0.001 <laughs> and then I paint it with a nice material which makes it more realistic okay we will do the same for all the French doors I will do the same for the other stories, but there is a little problem in, in the underground, for example. On here we have curved windows. So, see you in the next video to deal with this.